Okay, the purpose of this video is to walk you through uh, definitions of clone display and extended desktop and when you would use each uh, configuration. Basically clone display is um, what it's meant by clone is what you see on the monitor is the same image that's projected on the screen. It's both screens of course. So you would use this for PowerPoint um, and any other time uh, you want the same image on both the monitor here and there. Um, in order to use Presentation Manager you switch to Extended Desktop um, and, and here's how you do it. You move cursor over to this icon and you double click on it. This is your uh, video uh, configuration software and you click set up multiple displays so here's what you're presented with here um, quite simply to move from clone display where we were click on this 2A alright so you, you click on it right you hear that clicking then you right click and you select clone which is you're actually deselecting it. Select this monitor one, right click, call it primary. This is the AV console monitor. That's the Dell display here. And then select apply. So this takes you to extended mode. So screen flashes a few times, just wait for it, and then say yes to this message. Keep the settings. There's a timer on it, so you got to be quick. All right. So what you'll see here is you'll have an asterisk on the primary monitor is one. Always make that one. Uh, make the one monitor the primary, and then two. And then on the screen up here, you'll see the blank desktop or workspace some some people call it so you're all set for presentation manager so you can go ahead and close this out and if you want to go back to clone mode again double click this icon select set up multiple displays select this monitor one right click check clone it switches to 2A 2B and apply and again you'll get a message you'll say yes keep it and then you can close this window and you're back to clone display what you see on the monitor is the same that's on the screen. And however you turn off the computer is the same configuration that it'll start up in. So it's important to be able to identify what uh, configuration you have when you start it and then make the switch accordingly.